Hi, and welcome to another video on working with the Arduino. Now, it's called working with the Arduino for a really good reason. If you thought I knew how to program the Arduino, I don't. All I know how to do is to go to the Arduino hub and find the bit of code that I want to do a job. And I know I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. Those guys who write that code, well, they deserve our respect and they're really bright guys. And I'd like to give a shout out to all of them who have contributed to the forums and to the hub that I'm taking this code from and using it. And that's all I'm doing, taking it and using it. So here's a good example. Very often, you want to press a button, have something do something, until you press that button off again. And we've done re uh, relay latching circuits where we've done exactly that using mechanical relays. Now, because you can do that using the Arduino as well. Pretty easy, actually. And there's loads of times you'd want to do that. For instance, press a button, run a motor. Motor runs until you press that button again and the motor stops. And that's called latching. Now, that's relatively easy to do on the Arduino. And here is the code. Now, of course, I haven't given a link to the code because you just put in latching Arduino in a Google search. It'll take you straight there and you can copy that code. You'll find different code for different things. The circuit actually looks like this. And here is the board. You might notice it looks exactly like it did in uh, video 1011, where we used uh, the internal pull-up resistor. And we are using input pull-up on this. But there's something different that happens. Watch what happens to the LED when I press the button. It goes on and it stays on. So if I press the button, it goes off and it stays off. On. In the previous video, I had to hold the button down. In this one, I press it, let it go, and it does that job. Now, in a sensor, you'd want that to be active only when you press the button down, which is why we used it that way. In this application, where we want something to run, we just want to push the button, have it run, until we push the button again. And that's all we need to do. OK, so it's lighting a light, and that light stays on. That might not seem really super. But if you look at the code, and you might have to skip back on this, you can see the bit of code that does that, and it's here, digital right LED pin. And we've defined LED pin as pin 13, which we did earlier. Pin 13 is the LED on this board. But the bit of code that turns that light on or sends that signal to do that light job is that digital right LED pin. Now, we can equally do digital right pin 7. And if we did pin 7 and sent that to a relay, we could turn the motor off and on. So you only need to do two things, really. One, find the bit of code that does the job you want. Two, recognise in the code which bit it is that does that job, and then change that bit, only that bit. And it's not even that complicated. All I have to do is change that number 13 to 7, and instead of doing what I'm putting here, it'll output on pin 7. If I stick a relay on pin 7, I can turn the motor off and on. That is basically all I'm doing here. I'm not programming it particularly. I am really am using other people's genius to do the work I want to do. Now, I'm not pretending it's my genius, and I'm very grateful to those people for having done that, but we can use that when we're working with it, and we should use that when we're working with it, because we want to do a job with the Arduino. We don't necessarily want to program it. I mean, it does get really fascinating, OK? So you will get into programming, I'm sure, when you start working with Arduino. But to work with an Arduino and to program an Arduino, they're two different things. We're more interested in working with the Arduino. Anyway, I hope that was of interest to you, and thank you very much for watching.